Hi, hi. Good evening. How are you? So how many are you for here? Oh, seven sites. Are you ready? Ready, ready? Yes. Good night, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? So I am. Nice. Ready? Ready. Yeah. Today is Thursday. Thursday, getting close to Friday. Hmm. Ursula, very good. I'm checking. I'm checking your scores. I see Ursula is complete. But I have. I have a lot of people who have done only, only the 60%, well, only the 20%. Even though I'm past the 60, that's acceptable. Hmm. But remember that the day to be complete with the platform is tomorrow, right? So I'm checking still some people still missing. Missing, missing, not right. You should be in a hi, hi, 60. Mm. Would be acceptable. So you do the other one today, you get to 80 and 100 by tomorrow, right? That would be like kind of acceptable. So let's see, Marta Marisol. There is six for Marta. Right, I'm checking. Uh, what I'm what I'm checking right now, chicos, is that I have a lot of empty spaces still, right? Um, a lot of empty spaces in the platform. And remember that by tomorrow the platform has to be complete, right? So I understand. Okay, Maria. I understand that, that you are working, but remember it's easier to when you when you sit down and you give a check and you work quick, right? And you do an exercise. I remember a question is somebody was asking for question number well for assignment number 13. 
Puase, María. Sí. María, María. Yes, teacher, good evening. Uh -huh. But I'm not in my house. Bye, okay. But anyway, Maria, the question, the question, uh, well, what you were asking here are the questions, just yes, no questions, like the ones we were studying yesterday. And what you see there is that you have the answer. Sí, hombre. You have the answer to the question. But that you say, yes, I did, I sent the email. That means that what you are asking in that question is about send the email, right? So you're going to retake part of the question to answer. Well, we can say in this case, it's the opposite, right? Part of the answer to, uh, to write the question. We're going to see a couple of examples. Right, so you can give a check later on if you still have a question, okay? And today we are going to talk about information questions. But before, as we have been going during the, during the other days, right? We are taking a little bit of information from the previous day to write the well, to make a review, to refresh, and to see what you have been learning in the previous days. And then we come with a different topic, right? I'm going to share here with you today. Um, I know that the attendance. Let's see the attendance before, before, before we begin. We begin. Let me see. If not later on, I will forget the attendance. Okay, let's see Abner Adoni. Adoni, no here? Alexa? Ana Luisa? Andre? I'm here, teacher. Okay. You're still on the way or working, Andre? Teacher, uh, I'm in my house, but tengo que salir a hacer un, un detalle que se me presentó. Okay. Okay. Entonces, estaré tratando de participar, pero que se hace un momento no estaré ahí. Vaya. Angie, Melissa. Angie, Angie. Arely. No here. Erling Melchizedek. No. Irma Noemi. Present teacher. Yes. Carla Milenio. Present teacher. María. Present teacher. On the way, María. Yes, teacher. Okay. Marta. Present teacher. Thanks, nice. Mauricio. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nancy Gracia. Present teacher. Nancy, necesito que me revise la plataforma. Bueno. Sí, teacher. <ríe> ya me pongo al día con eso. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Oscar Humberto, es que yo ahí los paso guachando, fíjese, a media semana yo me doy mi revisadita para ver este, cómo van y voy actualizando, ¿verdad? Me gusta ir actualizando la lista y, y llevarla al día. Mañana doy otra revisada, hoy tal vez en la noche, ya temprano ya revisé, ¿verdad? Pero tengo muchos veintes. Pero yo esperaría que al final de la clase que yo dé una revisadita y andemos por los 60, aunque sí, ¿verdad? Hoy vamos a, vamos a refrescar las questions that you have in, in, in the homework number 13. 
and that will help you feel more confident to do that exercise. Oscar. Hi, Oscar, no here, Oscar. Silvia? Silvia, Evelyn. Ursula? Present teacher. Congratulations. Thank you. I see you are complete. Nice, nice, nice. Yes. Thank you. Um, Giovanni. Present teacher. A ver, anybody entered after I call you? Hmm? Do I have people who enter later on after I call you? Yes, yes, Mauricio, Marta, Monica, significa present. Adeline, Adeline, hello. Present teacher, okay. hello. Mauricio, you too. Present teacher. Ah, vaya, pero Mauricio sí me dijo present. Yes. Sure. Es que fíjense que yo veo 13 conectados, todavía tengo muchos espacios acá. A ver, Oscar, Silvia. Presente, teacher. Sí, estaba con Erita. Eh, Abner, Adoni. Alexa. Ana Luisa. Angie. No está Angie. Angie, Angie. Erling. Bueno, you are 13 with the teacher. Es lo que estamos. Estamos, estamos. Bye. Hoy sí. I'm going to share the screen with you and see. This is our class number. Number que. A ver. What number? Mm. 14. This is our class number 14. And we continue talking about questions, right? But this time, this time, we are going to talk about information questions. Okay, we're going to talk about information questions. Remember, uh, this is the week of the past, right? We started Monday with the affirmative sentences, uh, Tuesday with the negative sentences, yesterday we were talking about yes, no questions, and today we are going to talk about information questions. Okay, that's how we are moving every single day. Of course, of course, we are going to make a review of yesterday's class, right? Before we continue with the question. Yes, give me a
¿Qué pasó con mi niño? No sé. Ok. Vaya, so, the achievement indicator, or the objective, right, that we have for today is participants will be able to write, ask, and answer some information questions using the simple task, correct? Okay? Information questions. Remember, yesterday we were talking about just no questions, but today, information. And you will see the difference, right? Check. These are yes, no questions. When, when we make a, a yes, no question, we have did you, did you want something to it? Remember we said that we use the auxiliary did and the verb in present. Right? The auxiliary did and the verb in present. Also, we said yesterday that we can perfectly use any subject that comes to your mind when writing the question. So you can say, did she call you back? Did she call you back? Did your friends bring, meaning your friends is plural, that's como decir they. Did your friends uh, bring something? Did it make any weird noises? Did we watch the movie? The auxiliary did and the verb in present. Did we watch that movie already? Did the children participate in the game? Did you eat breakfast this morning? Did it rain last night? Did you go on a trip last weekend? Did they attend university together? Did the store give you a discount? So it doesn't matter the subject. It doesn't matter the subject you use. You know what the structure is, right? So the structure is auxiliary, dear, subject, and the verb in present. Any question here? Well, check the question. Uh, here, I have first an affirmative sentence. We said, when we are making affirmative sentences, the verb is in past, verdad? So you say, I received my salary yesterday. Negative, I didn't receive my salary yesterday, right? So I use the auxiliary didn't, and the verb is in present. When I make the affirmative sentence, the verb is in past. But when I use the negative, I put the auxiliary in past, and then the verb is in present. That was for negatives. And we said that in the questions, it is exactly the same. So you say, did you receive your salary yesterday? Did you receive your salary yesterday? Yes, I did. See? Yes, I did. If you want to give, if you want to give a short, a short answer, give me a second. If you want to give a short answer, right? But if you want to give a long answer, you say, did you receive your salary yesterday? Yes, I did. I received my salary yesterday. Did you receive your salary yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. I received my salary yesterday. Or oh, no, I didn't. I didn't receive my salary yesterday. Oh. You can say no, I see no, I didn't. I received my salary last week. Mm -hmm. So you don't necessarily have to say yes, I did all the time, right? You can give me a long answer. Did you receive your salary yesterday? Yes, I did. 
I received my salary yesterday. Or you say, yes, I received my salary yesterday. No, I didn't. I didn't receive my salary yesterday. I received it last week. Okay, so yes, I did. I received it, but no, yet, not, not yesterday. I received it last week, right? So that is how you can answer check. Remember, I I like to to teach you different forms of answering. You cannot answer the same way all the time, right? It depends on what you want to express in each situation. Now, check here. If we want to use uh, the verb to be, you say, were you happy last night? Were you happy last night? Were you at home last week? Using the verb to be, right? So what happens when I make a question is that instead of saying you were, I will say, were you? Were you happy last night? Were you at home last week? Were you happy last night? Yes, I was. Were you at a concert yesterday? Check. Were you at the concert yesterday? Yes, I was. Were you at the concert yesterday? Um, yes, I was at the concert yesterday. Or you can perfectly say, no, I wasn't at the concert yesterday. Remember that we said yesterday that if you make a question with uh, the verb to be, the answer will be with the verb to be. If you make a question with did, the answer will be with did, right? Did you have breakfast this morning? Yes, I did. Did you have breakfast this morning? No, I didn't. Were you at the concert yesterday? Yes, I was. Oh, no, I wasn't. Did you go to the concert yesterday? Yes, I did. So you check. I can be asking about the concert, but in a different form, right? Were you at the concert yesterday? Yes, I was. Oh, no, I wasn't. Did you go to the concert yesterday? Yes, I did. No, no, I didn't. Okay. Any question here? Question. Hmm? No question? Hmm. Teacher, question. Tell me. Eh, cuando a veces respondemos con el negativo, este, ahí sí tendríamos que cambiar, ¿verdad? Cuando, por hmm. ejemplo, eh, lo que puso en el ejemplo anterior, vi ese, ese cambio. Eh, me parece que, por ejemplo, hmm, en go cambia al dat no, uh -huh, no exactly. recuerdo. So you see, if you if I tell you did you receive your salary yesterday? You say no, I didn't receive my salary yesterday. No, I didn't receive my salary yesterday. Oh, yes, I received. Miren si es afirmativo. No, I didn't. I received my salary last week. Did you receive your salary yesterday? Yes, I received my salary yesterday. Y esto es algo que quiero que vean. Cuando usted eh, responde una pregunta, toma parte de la pregunta, mire, 
receive your salary yesterday. Esa es parte de la pregunta, ¿no? Cuando usted responde la pregunta, va a tomar parte de la pregunta para responder. Did you receive your salary yesterday? Yes, I received my salary yesterday. ¿Sí? Y ya van a ver cuando lleguemos a las information questions que pasa igual. Entonces, en la plataforma que a ustedes le dan la, la respuesta, que dice, eh, I sent, let me refresh. Uh, yes, I did. I sent the email. It's similar to this one. Maybe. Yes, I did. I received my salary yesterday. Did you? Si yo veo esta respuesta que dice, yes, I did. I received my salary yesterday. Lo que yo voy a hacer es retomar este verbo y, y esto, ¿verdad? Todo esto que se está respondiendo porque eso es prácticamente lo que se pregunta. Entonces, en la plataforma, ese es el caso que tienen, que dice, did you, uh, yes, I did. Y de ahí hay un punto, ¿verdad? I sent the email. Lo que usted va a preguntar es, did you send the email? As remember, that in the question, we use the verb in present. Eso no lo vayan a perder de vista. In the question, you have the verb in present because the auxiliary is in past. ¿De acuerdo? Any question? Any question there? ¿Mm? ¿Estamos claros? Perfecto. Perfecto. Okay, were you happy last night? Yes, I was. I was happy last night. Were you at home last week? Yes, I was. I was at home last week. Okay. Now, check these questions. Did you have dinner before class? Hmm? Yes, I did. I had dinner before class. So you say, no, I didn't. I didn't have dinner before class. Yeah? A ver, I need a volunteer to ask the first question. But I'm going to ask Mauricio. Mauricio, did you have dinner before class? No. Did you have dinner before class? Yes, I did. Okay. Now you choose somebody to answer the second question. Okay. Did you drink coffee today? Okay. Did you bring did you drink coffee today? ¿Quién va a responder? Um, Carla Mirena. Yes. Okay, Carla. Did you yes. drink coffee today? Yes, I did. Three cups. No sé cómo se dice tres tazas. Carla, ask the second question. Well, the, okay. the number three. Okay. Um... Uh, Ursula Esteli Gomez, uh, did you send any WhatsApp message? Yes, I did. I sent many messages by WhatsApp. Okay, Ursula, your turn to ask. Anybody to answer? Marta? 
Marta. Did, did you work today? Marta, did you work today? Marta, Marta. No está Marta, quizás. Martita. William. William. Hi. Did you work today? Yes, I didn't. Work. work yes, today. I did. Uh -huh. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Pero work today. I work today. Ok. Yes, I did. Y después punto, I worked today. Very good. William, ask somebody else. Did you eat chicken for lunch? William, ask. ¿A quién le preguntamos, William? Ok, uh, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you, William. Did you drink no water? Did you drink no Yes, I did. I drink it. I drank? I drank no water. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, Nancy, you choose another victim for the following questions. Okay, let me see, please. Mauricio. No está Mauricio, ¿verdad? No está. Mm, vamos a ver. A... Mm, Irma. Hola. Hola. Sí, perdón. Ok. Mm. Where you busy today? Were you busy today? Did you? Yes, I. Eh, okay. eh, eh, yes, yes, I did. Yes, I. Yes, 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 I. Ah, very yes, I was. Yes, I was. Uh -huh. Yes, I was. Now, you ask the following question. Mm -hmm. What's the next question? Perdón? Ask the next question. Le pregunto a alguien. Sí. ¿A quién le vamos a preguntar? Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa. Hello. Okay. Did you work today? Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Were you at work today? Yes, I was. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. And the last one, you ask the last one. Okay. No sé si ya pasó Andre. No. Okay. Did you eat? Chicken for lunch? Uh, no, I didn't chicken for lunch. I didn't? I didn't qué? I eat. eat. I didn't eat. Eat. Okay. I didn't eat chicken for lunch. Okay. Now, 
Any questions of any bill? Any question? No? No questions. Vaya, quiero refrescar su memoria con esta pregunta. Me estoy trayendo el che. Look at the answers. Gruay the questions. How do you make the question? Remember, aquí es lo opuesto, ¿verdad? La que acabamos de estar haciendo. Usted hacía la pregunta. Bueno, tenía la pregunta, usted daba la respuesta. Eso es lo contrario. Usted tiene la respuesta, me va a dar la pregunta. Pero si yo digo yes idea, significa que necesito una yes no question, ¿verdad? I sent the email. I sent the email. ¿Cuál creen ustedes que sería la pregunta aquí? Voy a invertir porque es una yes or no question. Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Send. Did you send the email? Did you send the email? ¿Sí? So we say, And do not forget the question mark. Ahí hasta dado el question mark, ¿verdad? Pero si no, lo tenemos que escribir nosotros. A ver, what about the next question? Uh -huh. Number two. What about number two? No, I didn't. They didn't check the package. No, they didn't. They didn't, didn't check the package. They didn't send the package for check. Okay. ¿Qué verbo estamos usando allí? Did they check the package? Mm -hmm. Okay. El único verbo que vamos a ocupar es el que no está, ¿verdad? Did they okay. send the package? No, they didn't. They didn't check the package. No, they okay. didn't. What about question number three? They car. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What auxiliary do we need? Did we? Did the car turn on? Did the car turn on? No, verdad. Did on. Did the car did uh -huh. Did the car turn on again? Again. Yo creo que el ejercicio que ustedes tienen. Um, Cambia un poquito. Si ustedes pueden hacer estas pelas en la de la tarea. Es bellísimo. Ok. A ver, the next one. What about number four? The answer is. No, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. The, uh -huh. What is the question? Did you receive a copy of the receipt? Receive? Mm -hmm. Did you receive? <laughs> 
and copying of the recipients. Did you receive a copy of the receipt? And you say, no, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. What about number five? Number five. Um, did he buy a new tire? Tire. New tire. Uh -huh. Did he buy a new tire? Yes, he did. He bought a new tire. Right? Any question here? Mm -hmm. No question. Teacher. Yeah. And number one, did you send the email? email? Mm -hmm. La tengo igual, pero no me la acepta. Le puso el question mark, Adiós. Yeah. Mm. Did you send the email? No le ha puesto guión a email, ¿verdad? No. Cheque que no hay ningún doble espacio entre las palabras. Y separando el question mark de la pregunta tampoco. De, de... Okay. Porque si le dejan un espacio entre el question mark y la última palabra, la pone mal. Have you friend? No. Mm. Le puso capital letter a día. Que que si no puso sent en vez de sent. Son todos lo, los diferentes escenarios. ¿Y usted ¿no? de Gmail? De email, no Gmail, sino que de email. Email, sí, hay una, una apertura, pero no sé. Así lo puso. Me mandé el chat para verificar. Porque así lo puse yo en, el, en, el, en, el, en la tarea y, y sin el asunto. Así, ¿tú did you send the email? Con el question mark and everything. En la tarea, a mí solo me acepta la pregunta una, tal, la uno, tal cual este se contestó acá, pero ya las otras no me las acepta. Vaya, claro, no son las mismas. Pa. Ajá, no, son diferentes. ¿Qué le puso a la dos? Did antes de todo lo que dice did they did didn't contractado al equitel no le llame la pregunta uh, ahorita did they didn't ah, es que check no me puede hacer una pregunta en negativo Chequeme la estructura, uh -huh. chequeme la estructura que estamos usando para cómo hacer la pregunta, ¿verdad? Did, uh -huh. acuérdense, la auxiliar did, el subject y después el verbo en present. <coughs> y después uh -huh. va este complemento, ¿verdad? Sí, claro. Es que así lo hice primero y tampoco. Ah, bueno, ahorita sí ya me lo aceptó. Ajá, es que tienen que tener en cuenta esto. Uno. Que en okay. lugar acá, este sent cambia a send, porque cuando hacemos la pregunta, el auxiliar va en pasado, pero el verbo queda en present. Mm -hmm. Hay que tener cuidado de eso. Lo otro, que, la, okay. que el did empiece con capital. Oh. Si empieza sí, con sí. minúscula, no se la va a aceptar. Otro, mmm, que no me dejen espacio acá, ¿verdad? Entre la última palabra y el question mark. 
porque si no igual, si le pone punto en vez de question mark o si no le pone el question mark, se la va a poner mala. Pero así como que el punto más importante que tienen que tener en cuenta es este. En yeah, la opción, yeah, sí, sí, sí. ¿verdad? En la respuesta que les están dando, el verbo está en pasado. Pero sí. en la pregunta usted pone el auxiliar en paz y el verbo en presente. Uh -huh. Ustedes prueben así, me cuentan. ¿Verdad? Sí, eso está bien. Ajá, el verbo siempre va a cambiar a preso, siempre. Porque esa es la estructura, ¿verdad? el auxiliar es pa, el auxiliar es bien, y el verbo en preso. Hoy sí se las aceptó. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, okay. No sé, no sé. No se puede ver el screenshot. Bueno, mucho bien. Mauricio, el screenshot mejor mándelo al grupo de WhatsApp porque aquí son no, no se lo grabé. No, si ya lo corregí eso, ya. Ya se lo aceptó. Ah, vaya. Ya, ya, sí, ya. Ok, pero. Sí, porque su no, no, no lo corre. No lo corre. Es bien lento. Ok, vaya. Any question here? No more? Okay. Bye, check. Today we are going to talk about information questions. Information questions are this, ¿verdad? Si se acuerdan, en las anteriores, en estas, the answer is only, o yes or no, ¿verdad? Que me puede dar una respuesta corta, una respuesta larga. It's true, but the answer will always be yes or no, ¿verdad? Did you have dinner before class? Yes, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. O me puede dar una respuesta larga, pero siempre va a llevar diez, yes al principio. Cuando nosotros usamos este tipo de preguntas, no responde yes, ¿verdad? Como que le diga yo, eh, ¿qué hizo ayer? Yes. No puede, ¿verdad? No puede. Entonces, aquí vamos a hablar de information questions. Information questions, we have what. What means que o cual. Why. When. Where. Who. Which. And how. Yeah. What. Why. When. Where. Who. Which. And how. And then you say. What. What did you find? What did you find? Hmm? What did you find? Oh, I found a, a coin. I, I found a coin. Why? Why did you go there? Because I have time. When? When did you return? I returned yesterday. Where? Where did you buy that? I bought it in a store. Who? Who? Who went with you? But that key. 
con el Who nos vamos a, del, a, a detener más adelantito. Because with who we have two different questions. Cheque que esta no tiene auxiliary, pero sí podemos tener una con auxiliary que diga who did you go with. Y lo que voy a estar preguntando es completamente diferente. Ok, which, which book did you read? Which book did you read? How, how did it happen? How did you travel? How did you come to work? Es el cómo. I'm asking for the way something happened. How much? ¿Te acuerdan? Hemos estado hablando de how much y how many, ¿verdad? Before. So you say, how much did you pay for your shoes? How much? Money. How many tacos did you eat? Quantity. Yeah? Plural, quantity. How long? How long did you wait? How long did you wait? I waited for two hours. How often? How often did you see her? I saw her very often. What kind? Oh, I saw her every day, but how often? What kind? What kind of food did they serve at the party? Well, they served sandwiches. They served chicken. What time? What time did you get up today? Yeah, these are the words I'm going to paste them there in the chat for you to keep them. They are words that we ask to, or that we use to ask for information. Mm -hmm. Whenever we want to ask for information, we use them. Yeah. Very good, William. I see you finished. A ver, any questions? Any questions? No questions. No. No, ¿verdad? Y se lo pegué en el chat para que lo tengan de, de, de referencia. Now, check. When do we use what? You can use what to ask for information. For example, what did you do? Did she say? What did you drink? Hmm, what did you eat for, for dinner? What did you eat for lunch? So I'm asking for information. You can also use what to ask for someone to repeat what they say. What did you say? Right? That's what. For example, sorry, I can hear, I can't hear you. What did you say? So to ask for repetition, we use what. Where? You can use where to ask for the position or something or someone. Where did she go? Where did Sam live? Where do you live? Where do you work? So I'm asking for the position or for the place, right? You ask about place. Now, when we use it to talk about time or to ask about time. For example, when did the meeting start? When did the plane arrive? When did you come? Right? Asking for time. Why? You can use why to ask for the reason. Why didn't they call back? They didn't call back because they were busy. Reason. That why is used to ask for reason. Why didn't they call back? Why were you late? Why did you shout? Right? Why? Reason. Why didn't he study for the test? He didn't study because he had to work late. He didn't study because he had to work for the test. 
who. We use who to ask for a person, right? That's person or person. Who is to ask for which person or persons did an action? Who did that? Pedro did it. Who did you call? I called Maria. Who did you talk to? I talked to my brother. Who did you sit with? I sat with my friend. Okay? And recuerden, aquí estamos hablando de information questions. Solo que se espera que usted dé information. ¿verdad? Que no diga solamente yes sino que we are waiting for you to give information. Now, there. When we use a who, what I was telling you before, right? When we use who, we have two forms. One, who did you call? Hmm, I called Maria. Póngale atención a la respuesta. I check the, the auxiliary too. Aquí tengo auxiliary, ¿verdad? You digo, who did you call? I called Maria. Who did that? Pedro did it. Pedro did it. Who called you? Pedro called you. ¿Sí? Entonces, en, pónganle atención a la palabra que está en azul. Miren, si yo ocupo auxiliar, Especialmente en el caso de who, no sucede con los demás, ¿verdad? Con los demás no es posible. Con los demás usted siempre va a utilizar este formato, tiene que usar un auxiliary para la pregunta. Pero si estamos hablando de who, tenemos dos tipos de pregunta. Una que se llama object question, que es esta y la otra que se llama subject question. ¿Por qué subject y object? La subject question busca como respuesta un sujeto. El sujeto está al principio de la oración. La object question busca como respuesta un objeto y el objeto está al final, ¿verdad? Entonces esa es la diferencia. Who did you call? Hmm, I called Maria. Who called? Pedro, Pedro called, right? Who did that? Pedro did it. Who ate the cake? Luis ate the cake. Who did you eat with? Con quien comiste? I ate with Lorena. So check the difference, ¿verdad? Si yo ocupo un auxiliary, estoy buscando como respuesta el objeto de la oración que el objeto va al final. Who did you go to the party with? I went to the party with Nicole. Who did Carolina invite to the party? She invited David. Siempre va a estar a la pregunta, a la... la la respuesta al final, no. Esta respuesta que yo busco justo va a estar después del verbo. ¿Verdad? En muchos casos. Ok. Who did Carolina invite to the party? She invited David to the party. ¿Sí? Who did Isabel exercise with today? She exercised with He sister, este Isabel es niño, ¿verdad? He exercised with his sister. ¿Sí? Ahora, si la respuesta que yo busco es el subject, como ven acá, mi pregunta no lleva a auxiliar. Aquí que no me lo confunde este did, que ese es el verbo hacer. No es el auxiliar did, ¿verdad? Who ate the cake? Luis ate the cake. Mire, Luis es el subject. Who bought the soda? Ana bought the soda. Igual, the subject. Who exercised with Isabel? His sister exercised with him. 
who did Isabel exercise with? With his sister. So you see the questions are different. No question? Imagine. No question? No. How? How can you use how? We use how to say or to ask about manner. ¿Qué significa manner? What is manner? Hmm? What is manner? What is manner? Hombre? No, manner. Man. Manera es la forma o la manera en que se dan algo. So you say, how did you do this work? Oh, I did it this way. Y hasta le puede enseñar un proceso, right? How did they do that? You can also use it to ask about quality or condition. How did you do on the test? You say how, right? How did you do on the test? How did it go? Oh, it went well. Okay, how? Now, when we use information questions, what did you buy? I bought a vacation package. Where did he fly to? He flew to another country. When did, when did we pay for the service? We paid for the service last month. Did it win? How did they find out of that promotion? How did they find out about the promotion? They found about it on the internet. They found about it um, in the newspaper. Okay. okay. No questions? Maybe mm -hmm. we go to this. I'm going to send you to do some practice. I'm sorry. I'm going to paste the exercise, well, the link over there for you to do it. And you see how you, how you answer. Mm -hmm. Any question? Tiene preguntas hasta ahorita? No questions. ¿Cuál página vamos a trabajar? Ahorita les mando un link. But you have to choose, you have to choose the correct word between a who, when, where, what, depending on the situation, right? Right. Do it individual. 
do it individual. When you finish, you let me know. Any questions? How are you doing? How are you doing?
Okay. You can share your score in the chat of WhatsApp, right? Everybody finished. Everybody. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Milena. Uh, Ana Luisa finished. Esteli Ma Mary. And my way is so nice, nice and nice. Great, great, great. Mm -hmm. How did you find if you did that? Yep. Okay. I don't know who's the last one who sent it. Music. <laughs> I don't know who is who it is. Okay, William, nice. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Easy, verdad? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. One. Let's go back. Let's go back. 
Now, here we have a problem, right? Later, we will continue asking questions here, but we have a customer's problem check. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have air conditioning. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I'm considering not traveling with you in again because of the inconvenience I Again, last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. That, to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have air, air conditioning. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I'm considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. That was Peter. No. Uh, hey, sirs, are Right? And it was sent to Peter Jamie. Well, it's not email, but that's Jamie. And the subject that you see in this email is complaint about a trip. That's that's the, the, the situation. Okay. We have that email and we have a couple of questions um, to ask about the email. Check number one. Where did the passenger go? Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? Example. For example, let me see. Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? And the last one, number three, make a change is not what, sino que when. Sí. Podría ser when, podría ser why. When did the passenger send that email? Uh, we don't know. Oh, the previous week, right? The previous week. Or you, if you want to ask why, you can say also why. Why did the passenger send that email? Oh, well, no, no, because we already have a why here. Okay? So what you're going to do here is go back to the email as a group. I'm going to send you in groups. Go back to the email as a group, and then you answer the questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are 14 computers, so I'm going to make only three groups today. Mejor que me queden un poquito grandecito, no tan chiquis. Okay. I start. Join, try to join the group. Remember, you're going to the email and then you're answering the questions about the email. Take turns reading the email first, right? And then you answer the questions. Join, join. You can find it in your manual, page 35. Page 35 in your manual.
Did you join? Everybody. <laughs> William, try to join, Sylvia. William, William. Vaya, ya la compartí en el chat, el párrafo y las preguntitas. Ok, vamos a ver. Dice, ask a different partner. Son tres preguntitas, ¿verdad? Hello. Sí, son tres. <coughs> Vaya, en la primera le dice Quiero ver, me confundo con el cuero y el cuen Gwen es cuando y cuero es dónde, ¿verdad? Exacto Ok Where ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Where did the passenger go? Eh, ¿A dónde va el pasajero? Algo así Sí, ¿verdad? En la uno Qué Sería to another country. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Hey. Sí. To another country. Another country, sí. Eh, solamente podemos responder así, the passenger, no. The passenger is, sería como. Another country. Teacher. Yeah. Eh, vaya, como ahí está usando el verbo did, ese me cuesta. Entonces, ¿cómo podríamos decir que el pasajero está yendo a Another Country? Sería the passenger. Eh... El verbo no es did, el verbo es go. Ajá. El auxiliary es did. Eh, sería the passenger is go, entonces, to mm. another country. Ay, recuérdeme todo lo que hemos estudiado eh, desde el inicio de la clase hoy. ¿Cómo tendría, de... ¿Cómo tendría que ir el verbo si estoy respondiendo a esa pregunta? Mm. Si yo le pregunto a usted, what did you eat? ¿Qué me respondería? ¿Cómo, perdón? What did you eat? What did you eat? Sería... I... ¿Cuál es el pasado de it? Eight. Uh -huh. I ate. ¿Qué? Um... Sería de un solo, ay, no sé. I ate qué? Respóndeme la pregunta. I ate. What did you eat? I, I ate food. O oh, no sé lo que estoy comiendo. Pero, ¿qué soy? Pero, ¿cómo que food? <ríe> Porque sí comemos food, ¿verdad? Pero, ¿cómo que? 
Bambús, a chicken beans. So, ah, ok, sí. más específico. More ah, specific. Exactly. And I ate pizza. Ok, I ate pizza. Si se fija, el verbo ir cambia a pasar. Porque me ah, va a responder sí. dándome información. Entonces ahí se va a extender, pero me va a decir la respuesta como que si se tratara de una oración afirmativa. Aquí no dice yes al principio de la pregunta, porque no es una pregunta yes, no, sino que le está pidiendo información. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Where did the passenger go? Where did the passenger go? You say the passenger, empezamos a tomar la respuesta de the, the passenger. The passenger went. Went porque en vez de usar el cover. ¿no? Ajá, exactly. The passenger went to. Went to uh, another country. Went to another country. <coughs> Okay. The passenger went to another country. Vaya, vamos a la siguiente preguntita. Ya vengo yo a guachar los otros. Where did the passenger go? Ah, responder las preguntas. Espérame. De la página, son la página 35 del libro, no sé si lo tiene. Ah, ok, ahorita lo busco. Mm -hmm. uh, I have the chance to travel with your company to another country, but, but to be honest with you, in it, I was about to experience because the bus that you are seeing it, me in didn't have apps. Uh, it was a long trip. And the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I have. This one. Um, where the passenger went to another country. To another country. Listen to this. I have to change to travel with another company to other company. Mm -hmm. I have. I have the chance to travel with your company to another country. Another country. They said, why did the passenger consider it a back experience example? Um, And didn't have uh, the bus, didn't have uh, aire acondicionado. 
Air, air condition. <laughs> air condition. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I'm considering not traveling with you again because of the convents I have uh, in condition. Why? Passenger. Uh, passenger. Passenger considering con la lección lo encontró considerar. Sí, 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 aquí lo leía. Ah, uh, bye. Uh, la primera es uh, another country. He traveled uh -huh. to, with your company to another country. Um, number two. Uh, uh -huh. Porque tuvo una mala experiencia. Ejemplos. Um, yeah. The bus didn't have a seat. And, and the bus was very the bus very slow. Very slow. The bus was very okay. slow. Number two, the bus was very slow. Okay. Very slow. Was very short. Length. It was a Let long trip, again. and the bus was very slow and without a seat. Okay. The trip it, it was too hot. What did No. When did the, the passenger send the passenger send Maybe. Can we put last week? I don't know. Mm. For one week. And we were there because of the inconvenience I, I had. One week before, after. The convenience or I had. After, right? Number three, the inconvenience. Mm -hmm. It's it, it correct, it, teacher. If the passenger sent send that email one week after travel. When? Uh -huh. A week after travel, exactly. A week after travel. And Sent, ¿verdad? Sent. A week after. The passenger sent in past, ¿verdad? Sent. 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 A week, a week sent. after traveling. Sent it a week after traveling. Okay. Ajá, uh -huh, because it says last week, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. last week. Mm -hmm. okay, the answer just sería... The passenger sent uh, the, that email a week after travel. A week after traveling. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have three. Yeah. 
three. Uh, I would send the Gmail. That email. That email. That's email. Oh. That. With that email. That that email. That's a week email. after travel. After traveling. After traveling. Traveling. Okay. Mm -hmm. After he traveled. After traveling. After travel. I will the email after travel. A week after traveling. A week after traveling. Travel, traveling. Travel, traveling. After travel. Okay. We have three. Yeah. To another one to go. To be. Okay. Um, one more time, number one. Number one, one more time, okay? okay. Where did the passenger uh, go? Another country. The passenger went to another country. To another country. Because the 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 email yeah. didn't the say email. the name of the country. Number two. The past was very short. Okay. The past was very short. Point five seconds. Okay, now we see everybody here.
Tell me. Where did the passenger go? Teacher, the passenger went to another country. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? Why? Because Because the bus, the bus, it was a long trip and the bus was very slow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because it was a long trip and, and it didn't have air conditioning either, right? That's another situation that it didn't have air conditioning. And as it was very, very slow, he or she. Es un he o es un chi. Sí. Sí. He, he felt the, the trip very, very long. Right? It was an extremely long trip. Okay. When did the passenger send the email? When? When did the passenger send the email? Hmm? Who knows? When did the passenger send that email? Uh, mm -hmm. He sent that email in this week, teacher. In the previous, for example, week. today. Okay. Mm hmm. She see this week, one week later, right? One week after the trip. So the passenger traveled last week and he sent the email this week, right? Any questions here? No questions? No teacher. No teacher. Yeah. Nice. Nice. He was not happy with the experience, right? That's why he sent it. But okay. What did you, we are going to make questions here. You have what did you, and you have the option to write the question you want. And then how did you, why did you, where did you, who did you, write the questions. You have five questions. Remember, we're using the simple past. When you finish, I already gave you lots of examples, right? When you finish writing the questions, we're going to take turns asking them to other people. Mm -hmm. okay, well. Go, go, go. You know, 10 minutes to write the question. No, you can reach you back. 10 minutes. And then we'll take turns asking.
We will check when you're ready. What are you doing? Let me know when you're ready. Two more minutes.
Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Maya, can we check it? Number one. Okay. What did you do last weekend? Mm -hmm. What did you do last weekend? Very good. What about number two? How did you do? Or how did you? I don't know if I. How did you do? Or how did you make that sandwich? How did you do? El que? That sandwich. That candy? Sandwich. Sandwich. Oh, sandwich. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. How did you do that sandwich? Okay. How did you make that sandwich? 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 Oh, I put some ham and cheese. Okay. Um. Why? Why did you? Why? Why did you go to supermarket? Why did you go to the supermarket? Because I needed some milk, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right. Where did you? Where did you at the school? Where did you? At the school. Where did you go? Where did you go at school? Uh -huh. Where did you go to school? Yeah, where did you go to school? Number five, who did you? Who did you? How did you to eat so much? Who did you? Did you to eat so much? Okay, who did you eat? Vale, aquí lo vamos a poner eh, with. ¿Con quién comiste? ¿Con quién comiste? Oh, I ate with my bro. Who did you eat? Who did you see? Who did you travel with? 
¿Con quién? ¿Verdad? Ahí estamos preguntando con quién, con quién va a viajar. Con quién, con quién. Ah, what did you do? Eh, ajá. How did you eat? Ah, muy bien. Como how me parece muy bien. How did you eat so much? ¿Cómo pudiste comer tanto? Yeah. ¿Verdad? How did you eat so much? Eat so much. Eso sería para este. Y a la otra le vamos a poner un, un, un punto. What did you? Y ahí necesitamos un verbo. ¿Verdad? What did you do? Ya estoy ahí. What did you see? What did you listen to? What did you do? What did you eat? Mm -hmm. What did you eat uh, yesterday? Mm. I ate yesterday. I ate relleno de jupi. What did you eat yesterday? I ate rellenos de jupi. Right? So, what did you? What did you? No siento muy sin dejado. Ah, pero ese sería más como una yes, no question. Did you listen to music at home? Yes. What did you listen to? Entonces hasta ahí lo digamos hasta el to. What did you listen to? Y la respuesta sería I listen to music. ¿Verdad? A ver, hemos llegado al final. Mañana... Vamos a dar como una, un repasito de esto. Eh, si tienen alguna duda, aprovecho la mañana. Y este, bueno, mañana es el cierre, ¿verdad? Terminamos el, el, como el, el unit number three. Entonces, eh, vamos a ver los repaso de todo. ¿Verdad? De todo, lo pasado, de todo lo que hemos visto en el pasado, affirmative negative questions y un poquito del vocabulario que se ha visto en esta unidad, que ha sido más que todo en estructura del pasado, ¿verdad? ¿Alguna question? ¿No questions? No, teacher. Vamos a ver, vamos. vamos a la tenales. Ok. No question, no question. Let's see, Abner Adoni. No estuvo Abner hoy. No, ¿verdad? Alexa. Present. Ana, Luisa. Present, teacher. André. Present, teacher. Angie. Me parece haber visto a Angie. Angie, señorita Angie. ¿Alguien vio a Angie por aquí? No. No, no me acuerdo, dicha. Eh, Adeline. Present teacher. 
Erling. Ahí está, qué bonito. <ríe> Erling, hello. Y ahí está. Eh, Irma Noemi. Irma Irma. Carla. Present teacher. María. Present teacher. Marta. Present teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher. Bien. Nancy. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Silvia. Oscar. Present teacher. Okay. Ya casi lo ponía. Silvia. Silvia. Present teacher. Ursula. Present teacher. William. Present teacher. Okay. Well, it's the end. Hoy es día 14 de Nancy. Nancy Katia, se queda conmigo. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day and a nice night. See tomorrow. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you for the class. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hi, Nancy. Hi. How are you? Disculpe, teacher, no le escuché. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine, very tired. Yeah, I imagine. Are you at home? Uh, could you repeat that question, please? Are you at home? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay. Um, uh, my phone. Ah, perfect. Ah, uh, the the PC is um mm, low battery. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> sí. okay, okay. Tell me, do you have any question about the topics we have been covering this week? Mm, no. Um. A veces me confundo un poco, pero. No, la verdad que no, teacher, sí. Es el, el, pues, el, el DIT lo tengo que, que utilizar, pues, para respuestas cuando, en, o mejor dicho, cuando pues, sean... Negativos. Eh, ne, sí, correcto. Y bueno, ahí, teacher, o sea, sí, no, la verdad es que no tengo preguntas. <ríe> ok, ok, that's good, that's good. En la plataforma, el ejercicio de la tarea número 13 que alguien preguntaba por ahí en el chat es como las oraciones o más bien como las preguntas que estuvimos haciendo hoy. Uh -huh. Como una de las preguntas que estuvimos haciendo hoy de la yes no question. Esa es la tarea 13. En la 14, uh -huh. eh, en la 14 va más inclinado a las... A ver, si la 14 ya son eh, double-edge questions o information questions. Uh -huh. Esa ya, ya la terminé, Tisha. Eso. La, 13, la 14, quiero ver. Hay una que la dejé porque, ah, aquí está en la 14. La uh -huh. pregunta, bueno, no era, bueno, sí es pregunta. Sí, son preguntas. Pero, ajá, pero no la, o sea, el ordenamiento me parece como que está malo. Las palabras son how, where, you, old. Entonces, pues primero el how, luego, sí. pues para mí es el how, where, you, old. Mm. Pero me la ponen correcta, o no sé si algo ah, está poniendo mal. 
Vaya, ¿cómo preguntamos la edad? Uh, sería, ah, ok, how old were you? Exacto. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ahí está. Solo esa mm. le había salido mala. Sí, solamente esa. Bueno, ya la voy a arreglar aquí. Ah, ahí está. Eso era, Ticho. Sí, es, es el... Es la he puesto, ah. sí. Y ahí pues me queda ver la... Que creo que estas son como unas definiciones de la siguiente, de la otra clase, creo yo, la, la número, la, dieci, la 16. Entonces, ahí me he quedado. Ya de la... Quiero ver la 16. Ya es de la unidad 4, ¿verdad? Sí, es de la unidad 4, ajá. La 15 ya estuvo. Sí, ya la terminé. En la 15 es prácticamente de paso. Es la, es la de mañana, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, uh -huh. sí, sí. Sí, eso está fácil. Change the following negative into positive. Ah, es al revés de lo que estuvimos haciendo en clase, que ya estuvimos ajá, cambiando sí. de positivo a negativo. Y aquí de negativo a positivo. Mm, sí, 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 sí. La unidad cuatro es de finanzas. Uh -huh, entonces, sí, eh, sí, estaba revisando, pero igual mejor prefiero hasta revisar la otra semana esos temitas, porque sí, hay sí. conceptos que no los conozco. Sí, estos son nuevos completamente ya. Uh -huh. Piense que la unidad, esta unidad tres fue bastante de grammar. Y la cuatro sí, lleva bastante. grammar, pero lleva también otra partecita de de vocabulary, que son estos. Sí, es que es la, la parte de, de, de grammar es como la que más cuesta, ¿verdad? Sí, y es que hay temas que cuestan más que otros. Porque hay unos... uh -huh. Sí, hay unos bien fáciles, pero sí, otros que sí cuestan un montón. Pero, por ejemplo, el caso del, del simple past es bien complejo porque va con un montón de cosas. ¿Verdad? Mm, Entonces, sí. ahí van viendo, y creo que vamos así como, como de uh -huh. Porque van hasta los verbos irregulares, entonces, y, y si no los conocemos, entonces ahí es donde nos confundimos más. Exacto, en, porque el mundo sí. de, de uh -huh. reglas, ¿verdad? Todas las reglas sí. que hay, y, y, y son bastantitas. Entonces, ahí es donde sí. es, ups, ¿y aquí ahora qué? Uh -huh. y, y lo que se olvida generalmente es el cambio del verbo. Mm, sí, exacto. Entonces, el verbo. Pasa uh -huh. eso que el verbo, ups, estaba en pasado y en la pregunta se pone en pasado, aunque esté el auxiliar y al, y al poner el auxiliar se da totalmente uno. Sí, es cierto. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Pero sí, hay que repasarlo porque sí, es complicado y, y sí, toca que, que practicarlo. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, darle, darle, darle. Sí, hey, mire qué chivo, ya la activé, ya la actualicé. Ah, vaya. Pues sí, ya estamos bien galán. Mira. Ay, sí, es que mire, la, las tareas no es que sean complejas o largotas, pero ay, a veces ya no. No sí, queda ya tiempito, que lo... ya que ahí a veces el fin de semana, igual otras cositas, pero ah, no, pues sí. es sentarse un ratito y, y, y ya se termina. Yo creo que ahí lo que lleva más tiempo es como el ponerse. Sí, exacto, eso es. Ya, ya una vez uno se puso a hacerlo ya. Ya, 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 ya se termina, sí. Sí. Así que ya Ay. solo nos quedamos con las otras de la otra excelente, semana. Excelente, excelente. Uh -huh. Está muy bien. Bye. Sí, gracias, teacher. Vaya, pues nada, si la dejo para que vaya a descansar. Bueno, usted Morgan. también. Que descanse. Thank you, you too. Good night. Sí. I see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Yes. Sí.